to Ash Art Books. I'm here today to do my August book haul. So all these books are ones I picked up kind of throughout the month, um, usually like a couple at a time. Most of them are all from different used bookstores around me and there are a couple from Barnes & Noble. So let's get started. There are actually two from Books A Million as well. And they're both from their like uh, bargain section. They have got a good bargain section. If you've got a Books A Million near you, go check out their bargain section. But the first one I got was called A, Sh a Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Cluess. Clo um, anyways, <laughs> this one is a YA kind of fantasy and I don't know, it just it sounded really intriguing. It's the first one, I'm pretty sure, in um, a series and I don't know, I've been kind of trying to find a new YA fantasy kind of series to kind of dig my teeth into and this one just sounded interesting. It was on sale for like $5.97 so I figured I'd give it a shot. The second one I've already read, and that one is Come Back to Me by Mila Gray. Um, I've already talked about this one in my August part one wrap up, so if you're interested, definitely go check that out. I loved this book. It was a five star read for me. I really, really enjoyed it. It was about Kit and Jessa, and Kit is her brother's best friend who's in the military, and it was just about kind of love and loss, and I just, it was beautiful, and I really enjoyed this. Um, it was on sale for $2.97. How could you not get this book for $2.97? The next one I got is a blind date with a book, but it's not one that I filmed because I just kind of bought it like at the beginning of the month before I, I was sure I was doing that. But it is something maybe by Elizabeth Scott. I know absolutely nothing about this book. It was not $5.95. I think it was, it might've been $5.95. I'm not sure, I can't remember. But it was a blind date with a book at one of the bookstores at Second and Charles. And I have to say, I was a little bit let down by this one. It just, it's one of those books that I don't know if I would have spent $5.95 on if it hadn't been a blind date with the book. So I don't know, it's a contemporary. If you've read this, I know she has a lot of books out that are a little bit older. So if you've read this, let me know. It's so short though. I'll probably get to it sometime just because it's not very long. Next, I got The Girl with the Make Believe Husband by Julia Quinn. Um, I This is just one of her books I didn't own yet. And this is a prequel to the Bridgertons. I'm really excited to get to this because it sounds adorable. I love Julia Quinn, you guys know that, and I just kind of really was intrigued by what this whole like um, book was about. So I don't know, we'll see. Also, I'm pretty sure this one might take place in like colonial times. I might be completely off by that. I'm sorry if I am, but I know it takes place before the Bridgertons, and I think it takes place perhaps in the States, in the United States, for part of it, so that was interesting too. And the next one is, if you watch my blind date with the book, you will know I got this one, which is Catherine Kasky, How to Propose to a Prince. Um, I don't know much about this either because it was a blind date with a book, but it sounds intriguing and it has to do with royalty and we'll see. The next two I got are from the Black Dagger Brotherhood series and I picked up Lover Awakened, which is book three and Lover Revealed, which is book four in the series. I actually don't own books one and two in physical form yet um, because I listened to them on audiobook, but I just, I kind of wanted to pick up the books that I hadn't read yet and hadn't got to. So I will eventually go back and um, pick them up, but I'm really excited to get to this one because it's the next one I have to read. And it's about Zadist, who is a lot of people's favorite, so I'm really stoked to get to this too. The next one I got was Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren. This was such a bargain. I found this for $3.75. It's a little banged up, like a little bit on the top, but I don't care. I love Christina Lauren. Roomies was fantastic last year. I really like their Beautiful Bastard series. So, or Beautiful series. Um, so I haven't read this one yet. This is one of their ones I hadn't got to. So I was super excited to find this um, for such a good price and I I really think it's kind of like a hate to love thing or like a co-workers to love thing so I think it'll be really fun and I'm excited to read it. The next one I got is A Taste of Blood Wine by Frida Warrington. So I know nothing about this one as well. I feel like that's kind of the going thing for this book haul. I don't know a lot about a lot of these but this is one that I just found in the romantic, like uh, paranormal fantasy romance section of the used bookstore. And it was in such beautiful shape. And I know it has to do with like vampires, but I believe it's historical. And that just really sounded fun. <laughs> I love historical and I've really been craving some paranormal romance recently. So I figured this might be good. If anyone has read this author or this book, please let me know because 
I really want to know what it's about. I actually haven't even looked enough on Goodreads because I kind of want to go in blind in case it has maybe not the best ratings. Sometimes I feel like that can kind of influence you in not the best way. So I think I'm going to go in kind of blind, but it takes place in 1923, I just read. And I believe it has to do with like a society. So it sounds really cool. So you might see this one come up soon. Three are all three that I'm very, very excited to have. And I actually broke down and bought them full price from Barnes Noble, but it was my birthday and I figured I could kind of splurge a little bit. Um, so the first one is The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I am ecstatic to finally have this because I have been checking everywhere for this and I really just couldn't find it anywhere except for, you know, Barnes Noble. Um, and even they were sold out of it sometimes. But I'm so excited to get to this. This is a mystery and I believe it's like historical mystery and it kind of, there's two different time frames in it. I've heard nothing but fantastic things from this, especially from Kayla at Literature Reads and I'm pretty sure um, books like, well, Mara, I think she read it as well and said she loved it. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm not always the biggest fan of super scary books, so I'm a little bit hesitant, but I'm, it sounds so fantastic and I love the, like, I'm pretty sure there's a boarding school in here and the history aspect of it really is like drawing me in so i'm gonna like give it a chance and hope that i love it the next one i got is because i bought that one i also got the haunting of maddie claire by simone st james because they had it and these are actually kind of hard to find unless you buy them off amazon um i just don't think they always stock all of her books in the store but i am really intrigued by this as well because it's a ghost story and it's historical and it's also a love story and I know this one has more of a love story than The Broken Girls does and you know I like a good love story in there so I think this sounds really cool and it's quoted by like Deanna Rayborn and Ann Stewart and Madeline Hunter and who's on the front? Susanna Kearsley so it's got some good authors loving on it so I think it's gonna be great I've um I know right I mentioned this one on I think my um, Instagram and I know Brie from Brie Hill said this was super creepy um both her books were really creepy so I might have to just read this with the lights on like full glass but I'm really excited to get to it and the last book I got for this book haul was From Here to You by Jamie McGuire. So this is a contemporary romance and I love Jamie McGuire. She was one of the first authors I read when I started getting into more like traditional, I guess you'd say romance or like straight romance. Um, because she was one of the first like new adult authors. A Beautiful Disaster is one of my favorite books. I know it does have a few perhaps issues in it but I just I really enjoy that book I really loved it and it was one of the first ones that really got me into like new adult and it's just very nostalgic for that reason um but I really like a lot of her books I haven't read the last one that she released um all the little lights or all these lights or something about lights <laughs> but um this one sounded fantastic it sounds so fantastic I know from reading the back that it has to do with a woman who is has a fiance and she's about to get married but then something happens and she doesn't and she meets she kind of like I think she has to like start over and she meets a new guy named Trex and I don't know she just writes her character so well and I feel like she writes flawed characters very well and to the point where you they seem real because you know we're all flawed so I don't know I just I love her writing I love her characters and I'm very very excited to dive into this one has anyone read this let me know you guys so those are all the books that I bought in August not too bad overall I feel like I'm doing a little bit better with the book buying and I'm also doing better about getting rid of books um let's keep the book on haul from a previous video <laughs> but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed watching let me know what books you bought this month or if there's one that you're super super excited to get to um thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye